A martyr's sister speaks, Sayyida Zainab's bold sermon. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, praise be to Allah, who bestowed upon us the grace of steadfastness and endowed our hearts with unwavering faith. I stand before you today, a daughter of the Prophet, with a heart heavy with sorrow, yet filled with immense pride for the sacrifice of my beloved brother, Hussein, and his companions. Their blood was shed on the plains of Karbala, but their spirit lives on, and their message of truth and justice will echo through the annals of history. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and blessings on my grandfather, the chief of divine prophets. O Yazid, Allah says, and his word is true, that then evil was the end of those who did evil, because they rejected the communications of Allah and used to mock them. Quran 30.10 O Yazid, do you think that you have made our life miserable and existence unbearable? Do you think that by killing us you have humiliated us, and by imprisoning us you have exalted yourself and raised your status? You think that you have taken power and control over our affairs? Wait! Let not your ignorance make you so arrogant. Do you forget Allah's saying, Do not consider those who are killed in the way of Allah as dead. Nay, they are alive and are provided sustenance from their Lord. Quran 3.169 Our faith and belief in Allah and our righteous principles have guided us towards this eternal honor and martyrdom, while you have earned nothing but shame, disgrace, and ignominy. O Yazid, remember the saying of Allah, and let not those who disbelieve think that our granting them respite is good for their souls. We grant them respite only that they may increase in sins, and for them is a disgraceful chastisement. Quran 3, 178 O son of freed slaves, is this your justice that you keep your own daughters and slave maids veiled while the daughters of the Prophet are paraded from place to place exposed? You have dishonored us by revealing our faces and allowing our enemies to scrutinize us from town to town. We have been subjected to humiliation and shame due to our fate, but do you really think that this is a disgrace to us? Certainly not. Our dignity is innate and secure because of our unwavering faith and belief. You, Yazid, with your actions, are severing the bond of mercy and kinship with the Prophet and are brazenly mocking his household. Your insolent acts demonstrate your contempt for Allah and his Prophet. What can be expected from the offspring of those whose ancestors chewed the liver of the martyrs and whose flesh grew upon the blood of the righteous? the one who cast away the faith and accepted infidelity. Thus, you have inherited these traits and the worst deeds from them. Remember that you have done nothing but remove your own flesh and blood, to your ultimate disgrace and the damnation of your forefathers. Your actions are leading you to the fire of hell where you will cry and lament. You have used your power to oppress us, but your reign will be short-lived and you will be cut off completely. The day of judgment will be severe for you and your companions. On that day you will wish you were blind and dumb, and you will cry, Would that I were turned to dust! O Yazid, do not think that those who are martyred in the way of Allah are dead. Nay, they are alive, and are provided sustenance from their Lord. You will never be able to eradicate our message, nor will you be able to end our legacy because it is divinely protected and is destined to flourish. Our martyrdom will serve as a beacon for the oppressed and the marginalized. O Yazid, plot whatever you wish and strive as much as you can, but by Allah, you will never succeed in erasing our name or extinguishing our light. Your tyranny and oppression will be exposed, and your power will disintegrate. The days of your life are numbered, and soon you will stand before the divine court where you will find no helpers. Praise be to Allah, who guided us to this path of steadfastness and endurance, and endowed us with patience and courage to bear this ordeal. We put our complete trust in Him, and He is the best disposer of affairs. As I stand here, with the weight of my family's sacrifice bearing down on my heart, I see the faces of my dear ones who have been martyred. Their blood cries out for justice, and their spirits soar above, undaunted by your cruelty. O Yazid, 
you may believe you have triumphed, but their legacy will remain eternal, a shining example of resistance against tyranny. Our tears may fall and our hearts may ache, but our resolve is unbreakable. We will forever be the torchbearers of truth, and no force on earth can extinguish our light. Allah is our witness, and to Him alone we turn for solace and strength.